Hello fellow cyborgs, today we're going to be seeing my TBR shelf. I'll show you every single one of these books here I'm flailing in front of. That is a secret pile of unhauled books. But that is a pile of favorites with a couple TBR picks on top. The first shelf is rainbow ordered literary and general fiction. That's how I do my things by feeling. Second is kind of rainbow order from cat books to classics to kids. And the last shelf is nonfiction poetry and sci-fi and fantasy also in kind of rainbow, but then divided by genre. So flaily, 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 all the books. Are you ready? Here they are. Young Woman in a Garden, Stories by Delia Sherman. Call of the Undertow by Linda Cracknell. Ancillary Mercy by Anne Leckie. The Prime of Miss Jean Brody by Muriel Spark. Morgan Collar by Alan Warner. The Phantom Menace by Ian Dosher. St. Lucy's Home for Girls Raised by Wolves by Karen Russell. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. The Distant Hours by Kate Morton. I'll be buddy reading this with Kate Howe and Sarai later in the summer. I'm so excited! No See a Dream by Agustin Fernandez Mayo, translated by Thomas Bunstead. The Blackbirder by Dorothy B. Hughes. The Book of Strange New Things by Michelle Faber. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. A Fine and Private Place by Peter S. Beagle. Fudoki by Kaj Johnson. The Melancholy of Mecca Girl by Catherine M. Valenti. A Constellation of Vital Phenomena by Anthony Mara. Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami. Manya by Anna Gamainer, translated by Kate Phillips. Heat Lightning by Helen Holt. Making Conversation by Christine Longford. Notes on Suicide by Simon Critchley Richard Yates's Revolutionary Road The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Society by Mary Ann Schaefer and Annie Barrows Oh, mouthful The Conservation of Shadows by Yoon Ha Lee Now onto the second shelf with cat books This is The King of Cats and Other Feline Fairy Tales edited by John Richard Stevens Catlantis, you've already seen me read this Cat Stories, which is the Everyman Pocket Library edition, something like that. The Collected Tales and Poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Dombey and Son by Charles Dickens. I will be hopefully buddy reading this with Kate Howe and Victoria from A Hermit's Progress sometime in the autumn, and I'm so excited because a thousand pages needs friends to tackle. Am I right? I think I am. The Odd Women by George Gissing. A Room of One's Own and The Voyage Out by Virginia Woolf. I've already read A Room of One's Own, but not The Voyage Out yet, so still need to get to that one. Orlando by Virginia Woolf. To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. The Waves by Virginia Woolf. The Awakening and Other Short Stories by Kate Chopin. I have already read The Awakening, but I need to reread it, and I need to read those short stories, and I'm planning on buddy reading this with a friend in real life. I have one of those! Oh my gosh! Villette by Charlotte Bronte. I'm really hoping that this will replace Jane Eyre's my favorite classic. Eee! Daphne and Chloe by Longus, translated by Ronald McHale. Paper Towns by John Green. Wet Magic by E. Nesbitt, one of the mermaid books that I still have to read. The Search for Delicious by Natalie Babbitt. Emily of New Moon by Ellen Montgomery. Eva Ibbotson's The Morning Gift. The Girl Who Soared Over Fairyland and Cut the Moon in Two by Catherine M. Valenti. A Matter of Magic by Patricia C. Reed. Armageddon Out of Here by Derek Landy, a Skullduggery Pleasant short story collection. Last Stand of Dead Men, also by Derek Landy, part of the Skullduggery Pleasant series. 
and the final book in the Skullduggery Pleasant series, The Dying of the Light by Derek Landy. This is Needles and Artifice, its knitting patterns, steampunk knitting patterns, and a steampunk adventure written by the Ladies of Mischief. This I've also read, it's Miss Hazeltine's Home for Shy and Fearful Cats. This is Favorite Ghost Stories from the Symmetries Society of Victoria. And also Favorite Stories from Lantern Tours, the Old Cemetery Society of Victoria. This is the Steampunk Bible by Jeff Vandermeer and CJ Chambers. Adulting, How to Become a Grown-Up in 468 Easiest Steps by Kelly Williams Brown, I think? Lost Japan, Last Glimpse of Beautiful Japan by Alex Kerr. This is translated by Alex Kerr and Bodhi Fishman. Hustlers, Harlots, and Heroes, a Regency and Steampunk Field Guide by Krista D. Ball. Indistinguishable from Magic by Catherine M. Valenti. Technically a fourth of the way through this. I haven't completely given up, but I wasn't really enjoying it when I was reading it. The Dunsmuir Saga by Terry Rexton. We'll go with that one. Inception and Philosophy, edited by David Kyle Johnson, because it's never just a dream. Games People Play by Eric Byrne, MD. The Romantics and Victorians, this is a poetry collection, not sure who it's by. Book of Poems by Federico Garcia Lorca, this is a dual language book in both Spanish and English. Edna St. Vincent Millay's Collected Lyrics. Margaret Atwood's Eating Fire Selected Poetry from 1965 to 95. What We Buried by Caitlin Seal. Belly of the Beast by Ash Vernon. Creepy cover, am I right? Creepy. The Know You Never Listened To by Maggie Royer. Love and Other Small Wars by Donna Marie Riley. Sparkle Fat, Poems That Intend to Be Seen by Melissa May. Ex Primus, this is a publication from my mom's high school days. A Brush with Burns by Robert Burns, with illustrations by Elizabeth Blackadder. The Bronte Selected Poems, edited by Juliet R. V. Barker. George R. R. Martin's A Storm of Swords. Samuel R. Delaney's Triton. Heard about this in Among Others. 10,000 Light Years from Home by James Tiptree Jr., the nom de plume from Alice Sheldon. Joan DeVinge's Snow Queen. I think it's Joan. <laughs> Stupid library sticker. The Harp of the Grey Rose by Charles DeLint. The Wind's Twelve Quarters by Ursula K. Le Guin. Mermaid's Song by Alita Van Gors. Tad Williams' The War of the Flowers. Luck in the Shadows by Lynn Flewelling. The Riddle of the Wren by Charles DeLint. And finally, Tigana by Guy Gabriel Kay. Those are my priority TBR books there. I have 75 more and more than that in California, but let me know if you want to do a buddy read of any of these. Until next time, continue to be lovely.